uh, I welcome all uh, in today's lecture on pathology. Uh, this is my second lecture on pathology. In first lecture, I have told you about the introduction and some part of atrophy. Today, I will continue the last part of atrophy and hypertrophy. Now, come to uh, in the first uh, lecture class on pathology, I have told you what are the causes of atrophy. Starting from decreased workload, and ultimately I have told you pressure atrophy, etc. Now come to uh, what are the types of atrophy. Types of atrophy, it is physiologic atrophy, and pathologic atrophy, and pathologic atrophy. Now come to physiologic atrophy. Physiologic atrophy, we can cite example of physiologic atrophy. Physiologic atrophy after birth. We know after birth as gradually the thyroglossal duct Thyroglossal duct and notochord undergo atrophy. Now come to pathologic atrophy. Pathologic atrophy, it is two types. One is local atrophy, another is generalized atrophy. It is two types. One is local atrophy. It means in this type of atrophy, a local part, not the whole body, undergo atrophy. Only the a local part of body undergo atrophy. Example, atrophy in poliomyelitis. atrophy in poliomyelitis. You know, uh, in poliomyelitis, again we can recall the anterior cell undergo distraction. So, the single limb or both limb may be undergo atrophy and this is the example of local atrophy. Generalized atrophy, in this type of atrophy, the entire body, whole body undergo atrophy as in it may occurs as in protein energy malnutrition protein energy malnutrition and it may also occur in prolonged starvation prolonged starvation and also in prolonged bed rest, prolonged bed rest. You know in protein energy malnutrition PEM, the baby undergo marasmus and kosciarker. You know marasmic baby is atrophied. So this is the types. American at a Kotabal Tipari, the polar starvation at a Manushir Jotu Deli Kavar Dorkar, Shijitarchi, Kom Kaiti Pari, Obaver Karone, the Shelukta Shukaja, Shukija, Amra Bully, Jetumi Shukigesu, to be Lintin Hegesu, is a trophy. Abarjudi, Etagal Gori Manager Kitri, Jodiak Risman, 
সেই ডায়েটিং করে নিজের শরীরটিকে স্লিম রাখার জন্য অল্প অল্প করে খায় সেও কিন্তু আলটিমেটলি শুকিয়ে যায় তাকে যদি আমরা বলি যে তুমি শুকিয়ে গেছো সে কিন্তু মাইন্ড করে তাকে যদি বলা যায় তুমি স্লিম হয়েছো সে খুব হ্যাপি আর যদি গরিব মানুষটিকে বলা যায় তুমি স্লিম হয়েছো সে রাগ করে বলে আমি খাইতে পারি নাই আমি স্লিম পেশের আমি তো খাইতেই পারি নাই এ হচ্ছে আমাদের কম খাওয়া নিয়ে একটা বডিকে স্লিম ফিগার করার জন্য কম খায় ইট ইজ নাথিং বাট এর ট্রফি আর খাবার নাই জন্যই সে কম খায় এটাও কিন্তু এর ট্রফি দুটোই স্লিম কিন্তু একজনকে বলতে হবে স্লিম আর একজনকে বলতে হবে শুকিয়ে গেছো না হলে দুজনে মাইন করে জাস্ট ইট ইজ জক নাও কাম টু উইন অ্যাট্রোফি মিনস রিডাকশন অফ সাইজ অফ সেল ডিউ টু লস অফ সেল সাবস্টেন্সেস আই হ্যাভ টোল ডিউ ইন দ্য ফার্স্ট ক্লাস দ্যাট ইজ দি রিডাকশন অফ নাম্বার অফ মাইটোকন্ড্রিয়া নাম্বার অফ এন্ডোপ্লাম রেটিকুলাম দি অ্যামাউন্ট অফ সাইট সোলিক প্রোটিনস নাও ওয়ান টু নো হাউ এ সেল ইজ রিডিউসড ইন সাইজ দ্যাট মিনস হোয়াট ইজ দি মেকানিজম অফ অ্যাট্রোফি নাও কাম টু মেকানিজম অফ অ্যাট্রোফি মেকানিজম অফ ট্রফি অ্যাকচুয়ালি ইট ইজ নট ক্লিয়ারলি নোন হাউ সেল আন্ডার গো এ ট্রফি বাট দেয়ার সাজেশনস দ্যাট ইউ নো দিস দি সেল দি দি নিউক্লিয়াস সাইটোসলিক প্রোটিনস অ্যান্ড অর্গানালিস অ্যান্ড ইট ইজ দি এন্ডোপ্লাজমেটিক লম রাফ অ্যান্ড স্মুথ এন্ডোপ্লাজমেটিক লম সাজেশন ইজ দ্যাট an autophagic an autophagic becul is formed from smooth endoplasmic reticulum first there is formation of autophagic becul from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum suppose this is the autophagic becul is formed then the substances that will be lost from the cell is sequestered in the autophagic vacuole so cell substances cell substances are sequestered in autophagic autophagic vacuole autophagic vacuole later on Later on, lysosome discharges enzyme on the sequestered material. Sequestered material. Then this enzyme digests the sequestered material. Then digestion digestion of sequestered substances once digestion of the sequestered substances there is loss of cell substances and reduction of cell size reduction of cell size i have told you the cell membrane has got elasticity as there is loss of substances due to its elasticity cell undergo shrinkage and this is atrophy and this is the mechanism of atrophy now come to there is a term brown atrophy what do you mean about brown atrophy it means the sequestered material from the cytoplasm to autophagic vacuole sometimes the some portion of the sequestered material is not digested 
and this material remain as membrane bound residual bodies. This membrane bound residual bodies sometimes produce a brown discoloration and this is called brown atrophy. What it means? It means sometimes Sometimes some sequestered material like lipofuscin, like lipofuscin is not digested, is not digested and remain as membrane bound membrane bound residual bodies and produces and produces brown discoloration of tissue and produces brown discoloration of tissue discoloration of tissue this is nothing but brown atrophy now we want to know actually where from this lipofuscin is derived it is derived from the uh, peroxidation of intracellular lipid peroxidation intracellular lipid peroxidation is associated with production of lipofuscin. So, this is all about the atrophy. Now, come to another cellular adaptation that is hypertrophy. Hypertrophy. We can say it is reverse of atrophy, you know reduction of size of cell is called atrophy, if the size of cell is increased it is called hypertrophy. So increased size of cell, increased size of cell is called hypertrophy. In case of atrophy there is decreased number or reduction of cell substances but in case of hypertrophy there is increased in number of cell substances hypertrophy is associated with is associated with increased increased size of an organ so we can compare atrophy causes decreased size of organ, hypertrophy causes increased size of an organ. Now come to cause of hypertrophy. Cause of hypertrophy. I have told you the first and foremost cause of atrophy is decreased workload. As hypertrophy is reverse of atrophy. Here increased workload is the cause of hypertrophy. Increased workload. Increased workload of a cell. How the workload of a cell is, is being increased? The workload of a cell may be increased following hormonal stimulation or following mechanical resistance. So, increased workload of a cell due to either hormonal stimulation, hormonal stimulation or mechanical resistance, mechanical resistance. Later, I will cite the example of hormonal stimulation associated with hypertrophy and mechanical resistance associated with hypertrophy. Now, come to types of hypertrophy. Types of hypertrophy. Uh, before that, 
we want to know, uh, uh, I have told you, atrophy may occur in the labile cell, stable cell and permanent cell. Which cell may undergo hypertrophy? Hypertrophy may occur in hypertrophy may occur in in labile cell in labile cell stable cell and also in permanent cell also in permanent cell now come to types of hypertrophy, types of hypertrophy. It is two types, one is physiologic hypertrophy, another is pathologic hypertrophy. First the path physiologic hypertrophy, physiologic hypertrophy and pathologic hypertrophy and pathologic hypertrophy. First we have to know physiologic hypertrophy. Physiologic hypertrophy means this hypertrophy physiologically occurs and this hypertrophy is needed for the body and there is no uh, problem if there is hypertrophy in the body. Now come to physiologic hypertrophy. Physiologic hypertrophy we can cite example of physiologic hypertrophy hypertrophy of cell of uterus and hypertrophy in female breast. Both occurs in pregnancy, during pregnancy, both occurs during pregnancy. occurs during pregnancy. So in pregnancy what is the cause of hypertrophy? The cause is hormonal stimulation. I have told you increased workload either due to hormonal stimulation or mechanical resistance. In pregnancy there is estrogenic stimulation in the uterus and also in the female breast. So the cells undergo hypertrophy it is due to hormonal stimulation. This is physiologic hypertrophy. If there is no hypertrophy during pregnancy, pregnancy may not be continued, may not be continued. You know and we know pregnancy is physiological condition, it is a pathological condition. So in this condition this hypertrophy is physiologic hypertrophy. Now come to pathologic hypertrophy. What we mean, why it is called pathologic hypertrophy? We can say here the hypertrophy first or pathology first. In the organ first there is hypertrophy. Again we can recall hypertrophy means increased size of cell that leads to increased size of an organ. It is due to increased number of cell substances. So hypertrophy occurs first in the organ then this hypertrophy is followed by pathology. We know pathology means sufferings. So the hypertrophy that will associate with the sufferings this is called pathology hypertrophy. So example, example 
example hypertrophy in deltoid muscle hypertrophy in deltoid muscle who is affected it is usually found in blacksmith or blacksmith blacksmith you know the blacksmith means kamar karmakar kamar amra jani kamar ra ekhon projuktir juge onek kichu use hocche kintu amra jokhon ei projuktir shonge obbosto chilam na amra dekhi je kamar ra ek hat diye bhati tanto sara din bhati tanto ar dana di rod ta ke pitaito e sara din bhati tanto e bhati tante giye tar deltoid muscle ta beshi activity hocche overload ए दिस ओवरलोड ड्यू टू मेकानिकल रेजिस्टेंस ए ओवरलोड कारण तरह डेल्टोएड मासल हाइपार ट्रिप होत सो दिस इज हाइपार ट्रिप अफ डेल्टोएड मासल ह्वैट इज पैथोलजिक इफ डेल्टोएड मासल यू नो डेल्टोएड मासल इज स्किलटल मासल इट कैन नट मल्टीप्लाई इट इज दि परमानेंट सेल सो एज इट कैन मल्टीप्लाई डि टू रेजिस्टेंस इट आंडार गो इनक्रीज इन सज टू ओवरकाम दिस रेजिस्टेंस ए जो सज बाढ़ते थे डेल्टोएड मासल बड़ो हो जाए और डेल्टोर मासिटे ब्लाड सप्लाई क्योंकि जा रही गलो जो डेल्टोर मासे बड़ो हो गो मोटा तजा हो गो तक जो से ब्लाड सप्लाई कम पा रिलेटिवलि प्रपोर्शनेटलि जेटुक पाचेना तक देखा जाने एखने कि हाइपोक्सिया डेवलप कर आल्टिमेटलि डेल्टोर मासे डिजेनारेशन होने फाइब्रोसिस हो और डेल्टोर मासे जो फाइब्रोसिस है तक से घासा करते पर सो it is nothing but the example of pathologic hypertrophy so here hypertrophy first pathology is followed by hypertrophy then hypertrophy left ventricular hypertrophy left ventricular hypertrophy you know from the left ventricle blood is expelled in the aorta If anybody suffers from hypertension, sustained hypertension for long time, hypertension, you know, and you know, hypertension. What is pressure? Blood pressure. It is the pressure exerted by blood on the lateral of the blood vessel. It is nothing but the hydrostatic pressure, not the osmotic pressure. A hydrostatic pressure, which blood is very high, our body hypertension. So anybody suffering from, suppose this is the heart. Suppose this is the heart, and suppose heart. Uh, suppose this is the left ventricle. Uh, from the left, left ventricle, you know this is the aorta. If there is hypertension, what it means within the systemic circulation, blood pressure is raised, increased, raised. So if there is hypertension, systemic hypertension, left ventricle is to contract forcefully because there is mechanical resistance. So left ventricle is to contract forcefully to compensate to overcome the resistance in the outer given by blood pressure hypertension so i uh, you also know heart muscle is the permanent cell it cannot multiply so to overcome this resistance the heart muscle undergo hypertrophy and this is called left ventricular hypertrophy you know the myocardium or heart is supplied by coronary artery if there is thickness due to hypertrophy of the left ventricle it requires increased demand of blood and oxygen but the coronary artery cannot compensate that demand so there is chance of ischemia within the left ventricle so left ventricular hypertrophy first that ischemia of the left ventricular muscle is a second ischemia is the pathology so this is the uh, example of pathologic hypertrophy and this hypertrophy is also due to increased workload against the resistance so uh this is all about the hypertrophy uh today this is the uh today up to this uh, inshallah see you later thank you everybody